Hey everybody, today I'm going to show you how we can create a favicon for your web page. To create a favicon, you'll need an image to work with. Here's mine. I would recommend an image that's at least 96 by 96 pixels in width and height. Once you have your image, we'll save the image to our website folder. I'll right click, save image as, find my website folder. Let's rename this image favicon. For a favicon, most modern web browsers accept ICO, PNG, GIF, JPEG, and SVG image files. So let's save our image. My image is now within my website folder. If you do need to make any graphical changes to your image, you can always use a program like Paint. This is a built-in program with most Windows operating systems. I'm pretty sure Mac and Linux have something like it too. If I do need to change the dimensions on my image, I can open it. Let's find that image. It's within my website folder. And here it is. If you do need to change the size of your image, you can go to resize. You can either resize or skew your image. My image is at least 96 pixels. It's 176 for both the width and the height. Then you'll want to save your image afterwards to that website folder. Once you have your image, we're going to create a link tag. The link is self-closing. The link tag specifies the relationship between this document and an external source. The relationship attribute will be icon because, well, we're adding an icon to our web page. The type will equal image slash the type of your file. So I have a JPEG, I'll list JPG. Then we need an href attribute. That will be the relative file location. My image is within my website folder. I just have to list the file name. favicon.jpg. Let's take a look, refresh everything. And here is my favicon. Typically with a web page, I like to place all of my images within one folder. Within my website folder, I'll create a new folder named images and I'll place my favicon within my images folder. So we no longer can locate that favicon. I need to change the relative file path of the favicon because it's now within a separate folder. Preceding the name of my file, I will list the folder that it's in. Images slash favicon. And there it is again. All right, everybody, that's how to create a favicon for your web page using HTML.